Welcome to this board session on Fusion Access for SAN. Fusion Access for SAN is the first instance of our new Fusion Access feature set. Let me show you why Fusion Access is so special and where it provides a new paradigm to the OpenShift storage industry, especially when it comes to OpenShift virtualization. Let's head over to the board. So this is an environment that um, we see a lot. Um, people come in, they want to migrate to an OpenShift world, which is um, what we see up here. And that would then consist of control planes and workers. And for example, here, I just have three control plane nodes and three worker nodes. And we are planning to run some VMs on the worker nodes. Um, but the thing is, since this is a migration, we already have hardware around. So um, we have our sand storage down here. Um, it works perfectly well. We don't want to replace it. We don't even have the option to replace it because it's not been depreciated yet. Um, so we have to find a solution to make that work in OpenShift virtualization. So when you would go in and you talk to your sand storage vendor, they would probably say, we have a CSI driver for this, for the Kubernetes world. And a lot of um, vendors have then opted to just providing a CSI driver so you have your CSI down here, and now there's a storage class for the VMs and they can request storage. But what this ends up meaning is that every single VM gets its own little storage. So here we have six VMs. So we have um, in this drawing, I'm just going to simplify it. So we have six little disks and they will on the sand storage be mapped to six little LUNs. Now, um, this is a problem because that means on the one hand, your sand storage needs to be able to handle those massive amounts of LUNs. And it also means that there's no separation of concerns. So there's now a very, very close collaboration between the infrastructure team that runs the OpenShift storage and the storage team that might maintain the SAN storage. They both need to work in parallel and the OpenShift cluster has abilities to work on the sand storage and create new LUNs as the VMs need another disk and they need to resize those LUNs when the VMs need to resize their disk. Um, a lot of companies that I've talked to, they don't like that. That's not their model of uh, business. And so this doesn't work for them. So um, they don't want to work on the um, CSI driver, the sand storage, um, either because they don't want those uh, separations to work or because um, their sand storage can just not handle that amount of LUNs. Um, what they can also do is they can use software defined storage. There are a couple of options. Obviously in IBM we have Fusion with Fusion Data Foundation so that could work and that usually means that for every worker uh, in your cloud or there are a couple of workers that then um, take up a huge or, or larger disk. And now you end up with having um, a static set of LUNs and they map here. Um, the problem though is um, the SDS would then split that up into small disks. I'm not gonna write uh, again, six small disks here. But you get the what happens here. We have three LUNs that we're exporting um, to our three workers. Now the SDS needs to do replication on that layer. So we have between those disks here, usually replication. Why is that? Because um, the software defined storage does not know about the sand storage. It does not know about any replication going on and they want to protect against failure in the OpenShift layer. So if we were to lose a node, 
we want to move its VMs over to the still existing workers. And we can only do that if we have the replication because we're not able to move the one to the other side. Um, so we need the replication in order to keep the OpenShift environment safe and sane. Um, that is oftentimes a compromise that customers are doing, but today I'm going to show you what um, we can do with Fusion Access, which actually removes that. So with Fusion Access here, what we can do is we have the ability to provision one or also multiple big ones, and they will act as um, as a lot of people know uh, from the VMware world or the other um, hypervisors, uh, kind of like a, a global data store that can span multiple workers. So now we have that one LUN and, or multiple, and we connect that to the data store. And that means we have the same LUN on every single worker and we don't need any replication because the data is available on all workers at the same time. That means no replication. And that's a big benefit in comparison to the software-defined storages. Um, while we still provide the same benefits of this, so we have the clear abstraction layer, but in addition to the software-defined solutions, we have all data on all workers all the time. That means if we're losing a worker, we can just start those VMs back up on another node. No data necessary, no replication, and uh, the VMs can just start over. Furthermore, we have what a lot of people are requesting from their storage providers, which is VM live migration. And we have that right from the start, and you can do that instantaneously with this setup. If you have more questions, either reach out to your IBM seller or come to the IBM Fusion website where you can learn a little bit more. Um, Fusion Access will be available on OpenShift Operator Hub um, in Tech Preview starting June 2nd. And um, that means no productive usage possible. And we're going to allow productive usage at around uh, summer time frame this year, which is 2025. Thanks for watching.